Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand header checksum field in the IPv4 header. The concept of time to live, which is the header field of the third row of the IPv4 header has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concept. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we'll try to understand header checksum, which is the last field of the third row. Last field of the third row, this is the part of the uh, third row which we are going to discuss in this class it is a 16 bit uh, uh, header field header field so what this header checksum is ipv4 header checksum is the checksum used in ip4 to detect corruption in the header of the ipv packets if there is any corruption in the uh, if there is any corruption in the header of the IPv4 packet, then that corruption uh, in the packets can be detected by using the header checksum. So how that can be done is, so uh, how that can be done is very important to understand. So let's try to understand how the header checksum is done, done. How to calculate the header checksum? The first and the foremost point is divide the IP header uh, divide the IP header in 16 bit words and sum each of them up and then finally do the ones complement of the sum then the value generated out of this operation would be the checksum. So in this way you may not be able to understand first first step is to divide the entire IP header group them into 16 bits 16 bit groups the entire ip header group them into 16 bits and the next step is adding those so sum each of them up so we will try to understand step by step first step is to group the ipv header into 16 bit words okay so let's take let's take our uh, ipv header so here we are having a 32 bit length each row is a 32 bit length so we have to group each 16 bits so if you divide this into entire this into halves so till here so uh, we have to take 16 bits this is this as one group this first 16 bits as one group and next 16 bit as another group this next 16 bits as uh, one group and this this as the another group and similarly this one and after that this one initially uh, while doing the header checksum we are going to consider this as all zeros at the source i am talking about the source so the sec checksum has to be calculated at the source and it has to be verified at the destination so we are trying to do how to do the checksum we are trying to understand how to do the checksum at the source okay so initially before we have to place uh, the result of this entire uh, calculation of the checksum in this field so while calculating the checksum we have to put all zeros okay in this and next is source ip address half of it is going to be the next part and this one this one and this one so we have taken a random numbers uh, we have taken an IP header and on that IP header we have grouped them into 16 bits in the example given below so in the given below example so in order to make you understand I have uh, so this is this is how the pieces are done let's try to understand so here the four four five double zero is the first 16 bit piece see first 16 bit piece and this first four represents so see here four five the first four what we have discussed it is the version what is the number that is there in the version it is four because it is ipv4 header right so that is the reason why the first four bytes how to convert this is the hexadecimal representation this is the binary representation how to convert the binary representation into hexadecimal representations so hope you know all those concepts uh, or else you can go to our uh, digital logic design course there you can find how to convert uh, uh, the binary number into decimal number uh, hexadecimal number so uh, four four bits and we are going to convert directly into decimal uh, and combining all that is going to be the hexadecimal so we are not going to go uh, into that concept again so uh, here the header length the, the second field is header length if you consider the first 16 bits 
okay if we consider the first 16 bits the first four bits are these first four bits is version that four bits version is stating that it is uh, uh, four okay and this header length is five we have discussed about these concepts five bits we have to multiply it by four right okay the type of service is eight bits and here in our case the type of service is zero zero see here in our case the type of service is zero zero okay and similarly the next 13 bits it is uh, uh, the total length the total length is represented in this way in the hexadecimal similarly uh, the next 16 bits uh, which is having identification identification part and uh, the next uh, uh, 16 bits are flags and uh, uh, flags and fragmentation offset the next 16 bits is uh, uh, the next 16 bits is time to live time to live and uh, the next 16 bits is uh, okay so it is uh, fragment offset and flags and this is for time to live and this is where the checksum is initially the checksum initially is 0 0 0 all zeros okay and after that uh, source ip address first half second half destination ip address first half and second half and their corresponding binary representation is this is the corresponding binary representations what is our next step so 16 bit words we have grouped all them and sum each of them up sum each of them so we have to sum each of them okay so uh, we have to sum each of them okay sum each of them up and then finally do once complement of the sum then the value generated so uh, the second step is we have to sum up the things so let's see uh, how the summing up is going to happen see here the first two bytes the first two hexadecimal values is taken 45003C and we are going to sum it up. It is going to be 4536 and the binary equivalent is this one and the result is going to be summed up. So this is how the steps are going to be. Okay. So the result is 453C and this 453C is summed up with the sum of these two is the result and the result is getting summed up with 1c46 the third uh, third piece 16 bit piece see here 453c is summed up with 1c46 this is how we are going to sum up the things and the result will get summed up with 4 4 triple zero and the result is getting summed up with uh, 404006 okay and this result is getting summed up with next one so here we got an extra value value and this we are going to do the uh, uh, we are going to bring it down and we are going to sum up hope you know all these uh, concepts so one uh, odd bit carry bit is there uh, add that odd bit to the result as we need to keep the checksum in the 16 bits as we need to keep the checksum in the 16 bits the carry bit will be added down uh, will be bring down and we are going to add so it is going to be the output is going to be here uh, 1 8 this is the result one this one is added here it is a d 9 9 see here 8 plus 1 is 9 right <coughs> this is the carry bit we are going to bring it down and we're going to add uh, this one to this uh, number it is going to be 8 d 9 9 and after that this result is going to be uh, summed up with the next piece this is the result that we got and similarly we are going to do all that stuff the final output that we got here is this one is the final output 4e19 is the final result of the sum of all the 16 bit groups of the ip header now now what we have to do is we have to do the once complement of the final result so this is the final result we have to do the once complement once complement means one has to be shifted to zero and zero has to be shifted to one so the final result uh, after complementing after doing the once complement is b1 e6 this is the checksum value this is the value that we have to keep it in the checksum field okay now how to uh, uh, how to do uh, what happens at the destination 
whether the header that has been received is proper in the is not having any de defects or not how to calculate it how the destination will calculate what the destination will do is it will remove the header checksum it will remove the header checksum to aside and it will put all the header checksum values that 16 bit header checksum values with zeros at the destination i am talking about destination so all the uh, 16 bits of the header checksum will be replaced with zeros and uh, the value this this value will be stored aside and all the header uh, uh, checksum bits will be replaced to zero and the same algorithm will be applied at the destination if it got the same result if it got the same result then that uh, uh, header checksum will get accepted the packet will get accepted otherwise there is a mistake in the header checksum so it is going to uh, remove that discard that particular packet okay hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching